Hi everyone, welcome back to The Nest. So, I have the finale for hashtag no paper left behind for today to do for you. And if you'll remember, I was using the DCWV Home for the Holidays paper pad. I am done. I'm as done as I'm going to be with this paper pad. Um, forgive me, I have paint on my hands. But before I, before I get through, to this and show you how I finish things up. Um, I wanted to thank Pam, who's from Dragon Moon Creations, for sending me this beautiful, beautiful card. I received it over the weekend, and thank you so much, Pam. I just love it. The detail in it's gorgeous. Um, so I wanted to thank Pam for that. And then, um, so, um, I'm not going to go through every single thing that I, I did. Um, I'm just going to move this box over. So, in total, I made three mini albums and 72, 72 Christmas cards. And right here is the last of the Christmas cards. Um, I'll show you the ones that I messed up on, too. Um, this one right here is the first one. Um, I was trying something new. Do you see all the ripples in that? Um, I wanted to do a shaker, and that's just Epsom salt. Sorry, I didn't put the thing on the inside. Um, that's just Epsom salt, and I think this would have worked had I um, had a you know, like a thicker ply um, bag, like the ones that I use for my stamps and dies, the new stamps and die storage, like an Avery L. This was actually one that you just put cards in to protect them. Um, so it was a dud, but these little stickers down here are some that I had in my stash, and I've, I've been trying to either use them or get rid of them, but that one didn't turn out. This one did though. Um, I still don't have the insides stamped, but those are the poinsettias that I was die cutting and the little um, pine branches. And then that's, I haven't stamped my sentiment and stuff. So I'll just show you the card fronts. This one. And then this one. I guess I could lay all these up here. I'll even put the dud up here, but I'll cover it up. <laughs> that one. And then this one. So on this one, this is actually one of those poinsettias that I um, have been die cutting, and I just cut it apart to kind of make it look like flames. I, my intent was to use up this little sticker set that I had, so that's what I did on that one. But I thought that turned out so cute. And then this one. And so, I started with this one and was like, oh, not the biggest fan of this one, but I like this one. Much better. See the difference? So I made all of those. And then, um, the one thing that I was using for all those numbers, this is what, um, I'm just going to move this out of the way like this. Um, this is why I have gray on my hands. This is just a canvas that I've painted to look like shiplap. And <clears throat> I had gone and bought these, um, vent covers last week. Or was it the week before last? No, I guess it was last week. Thinking that this would work. But let me tell you, it does not. Um, what I was going to do is take and mount this on the und underside of my canvas. And then use it um, as a magnet to go from day to day as an advent calendar. Um, these magnets don't work. Um, they're just not strong enough 
to do that, to go through the canvas and then the, um, uh, the paint and then the paper even with using the super strong magnet that I had planned on using um, for the the piece that you would change from day to day they just don't they won't work um, so um, my plan too is using just super strong magnets however I order those online and they won't be here before the end of the month but um, <clears throat> once I once I do completely finish this, then um, I will come back on and show you all what it looks like. But I can't really go much further until I get enough magnets that are super strong that will hold. And they're the same kind of magnets that I use in my... Um, uh, sorry guys, I can't think. In my mini albums. But um, I am done. And... I know that I still had a few things like, you know, bits and bobs left from the collection, but I'm going to use that as part of, um, there may even be some larger pieces of paper. Um, matter of fact, I know there are. So what I'm going to do is just give this, this will be part of the prize package for this month but see there's sorry there's all these little cut aparts and then on these since they won't go into the um, small flat rate box I'm just going to cut them right in half right here to where you can still cut out the um, the circles but it's it's every number and shape and all that I have here on this in case you want to make one of these um, so I'm including that, and then, um, this is just part of it that I'm including. If you want to be entered in this challenge, just, um, what was the name of the collection for this month? Oh, well, where did I put that? Oh, right there it is. Oh, it was Home for the Holidays. So, if you want to be entered for the giveaway for this month, um, just write uh, in the comments somewhere, write uh, home in, in the thing, and that way I'll know that you want to be, and then I'll draw. So, um, I've also been going through my ribbons and stuff, and um, trying to put them, fix them a little bit more organized, and I realized that I had a lot of this chocolate brown ruffle lace and it's just like the lace that I used um, well I thought that I was had this better planned out than this but it's just like this ruffle elastic that I used on that mini album so I'm including that for you um, as a gift and these little, I don't know if I showed you, these, these are those little, this is what I had left of these, the little pine branches that I die cut out, so I'll be sticking those in here for you, and the ribbon, and all those cut apart, and then, um, this die, stampin' die set, that will be in there as well. And, you know, this month is the month that I found the house mouse, so I had to share one of these with you all. So that will be in there as well. Plus, I'm also going to include some of <clears throat> my cards that I made this month. I'll just include like a little bundle of them and whatever else that I can fit into um, this little box that I decorated for you. But in the comments below, just please put, um, just use the word home, and that way I'll know that you want to be um, entered into the challenge. Thanks, everyone who followed along for this month. I'm going to, uh, I'm actually going to miss doing this challenge the next two months, but I'll be back in January. Um, not, I'll, I'll be back with other 
uh, projects and stuff the month of November and December, but um, I'm taking a break from No Paper Left Behind until January, just where I can do some of the other um, crafts and all. So, anyway, I will have in the description box below, I'll have a link to all of the other ladies' um, channels who are participating. There's one that I'm aware of that is new, but I don't think she has a YouTube channel. She just has an Instagram, and I don't have Instagram, so I don't know how to link that. But if you go over to Sarah's channel, I think she can tell you. So, anyway, thanks everyone for watching and playing along, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!